I don't think there's more than two enemies left here. I got Fuck you. Oh my god, his head's gone. That was an amazing shot. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to The Last of Us Remastered. Alright, so we're still playing on grounded difficulty, of course. And um, in the last part, we actually saved Joel's life by giving him some antibiotics after being impaled by some spike back at the university. So, we actually got the antibiotics from some guy called David. And we met him while hunting as Ellie. We killed a deer and he was waiting at the body. And um, he was friendly enough to give us some antibiotics and help us out killing a bunch of infected. But in the end, it turns out he's not as that nice really because he is actually the leader of <laughs> the hunters, which are these bandits trying to kill me right now. And um, I think the reason why he actually gave us the antibiotics was so that we would lead his men back to where Joel was hiding. Because he knew that we, of course, wanted the antibiotics to heal Joel. Where do I go? Um, we go that way, Ellie. You should know this by now. I'm just trying to get away. Alright, so it looks kind of clear around here. There's a guy there. As long as that guy doesn't actually turn around right now, we can keep on going around this building. We almost got spotted there. Fuck. So also, my ammo is f very low. I've got two rifle rounds and a brick. That's pretty much all I've got to fight with. I've got a knife as well I could use at melee range. But um, Ellie's takedowns and... Ellie can't grab enemies, of course, like Joel can. But she can actually stealth kill them if she's got enough time. Because she jumps on them with a knife and hacks them in the face a bunch. So we could really do with some arrows, that'd be really useful. Just to take out some enemies from range. So we're gonna... There's two guys up this platform that we need to get on top of. We need to really have one of them move away so it'd be a lot easier to get past just one guy. Because that way we could either um shit, there's another guy going that way now as well. So the key to getting past this pit in stealth is pretty much just being really calm and um patient. We just what we could do with this guy kinda of dropping down and not coming this way. But go the other way around the building. Here we go. It looks like he might be going down them stairs. Never mind, he's not, he's turning around. So they know, of course, that I'm in this area because they chased me while I was riding a horse. But um, they don't know exactly where I am. Okay, there's a guy there actually. It's not safe to go that way just yet. God, there's two guys. Oh, there's so many guys. I can't really face these guys. As normally when you play as Joel, if shit go hits the fan. And you're forced to um, fight people. You've got a good chance because, of course, Joel can fight for, fight for him um, hand to hand combat. Oh, that was so close. We actually got so lucky right there that we didn't get spotted. But that open window right there it was so small, and we actually made good use of it. So this is where we've got to go now. Just got to shimmy our way across this um, this cliff face. Okay, so fall in the water. Oh shit. oh shit indeed Ellie, and oh shit. <sighs> so we probably passed about six or seven bandits right there. If we would have had to fight them, that would have been a messy fight and probably wouldn't have gone too well for Ellie. So we're going to keep on going around this cliff. So El Ellie's plan right here was to actually take the bandits away from Joel, just to then kind of like double back and come back for Joel later on. Once she's kind of lured them away. But there's that many bandits. You think you're probably not going to lure them all away. She, they're probably going to find Joel at some point. Before we actually do carry on around this cliff. Just quickly check on what's up here. I'm not expecting any ammo. But there could be some uh, materials maybe. Or a comic book. Negentropy. What the hell is Negentropy? Savage Starlight. Am I pronouncing that wrong? I probably am. Um, that's the back of it. Okay, I don't really care. I'm trying to stay alive. I've not really got time to read comic books. They're just collectibles, really, so... Not that important for progression. And when you're playing, kind of, on grounded difficulty, your main concern is to pretty much just complete the game. <sighs> this damn 
the thing is blocking me. Okay, so we need to go back out here now and whatever that is sticking through the pipe, we need to move out the way. Here we go. Jeez. Playing as Ellie in this section is one of the hardest parts, I think, because she, of course, when she's got no ammo, she's quite defenseless if she's being spotted as well. She can still aim throw a brick at someone to stun them. Back. Hang in there, Joel. And then finish them off with um, her knife. But um, if someone else like takes a jump on her and she's got no brick to throw, you've got no chance really of beating them um, head to head, one on one. Okay, so we've just got some subtitles there for some more bandits speaking. I didn't really actually hear them, there they are. So we still need to go. I think the way actually to go up there is because that fence is in the way. We need to go inside the building and go through the back door. Is that kid? So we've got these two bandits right here. We've got a brick still we can use to distract him, these guys. When this guy turns his back and we know he's not going to turn back around, that's when we can make him. Fuck, this guy's just. He knows where I am, doesn't he? Almost. We're going to take this guy out, actually. <laughs> I think we just got spotted actually as well while we're doing that. Let's go check down there. Yeah, so they know I'm here because they probably heard that guy scream. Just be very careful now. I think they're actually going to go over there to inspect. And that's not a bad thing really because I can kind of sneak on by. So that kind of worked out pretty well getting half spotted. Okay, there's a guy there. We just gotta hope that guy doesn't come down this way. See, there's two of them. Oh, this guy's coming this way, isn't he? Yeah, he is for sure. <sighs> shit. Um, shit. If we can kind of shit, shit. Oh my god, this is so dangerous. Hey, find anything? I think that worked. I actually distracted the guy that was right next to me. I mean, the guy that was coming behind me. And while he had his back turned, I took the guy out that was next to me. So we're gonna actually, when this guy kind of goes out of sight, we'll jump over this wall. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Nice. Fuck me, this is so tense. Okay, that guy's inspecting the body. I'm gonna, gonna creep over this way, actually. Um, that's not a good idea. <sighs> okay, there's another guy in the distance as well. So we've only got this guy actually over here now. That could be a problem if we keep going this way. Fuck, this guy's not giving up, is he? If we throw a bottle over there again, we can actually sneak past him. Let's climb up here, just so we get some cover behind this tree. Okay, drop down. Which way is that guy looking? I'm not even going to look behind me. Cause there's a guy there, and no, shit, he's coming this way now. Fuck's sake! Where are you, you little shit? Don't call me a little shit. Uh, this guy, make your mind up. Are you gonna go down, or are you gonna come back up? You really give me a hard time. Time, 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 time. Fuck it. If this guy, God, this guy's right there now. He's also blind, which is good. Okay, if we drop down now and keep going, we should be in the clear. I think this is the way to go anyway, I hope it is. That was actually pretty slick right there, I must say, even though it was my own doing. How do I get out of here? I'm really happy with that. So we're gonna go through this building. We've gotta move this dumpster out the way first. With Ellie's supernatural powers. For some f is she 13 or 14? I think she's 14. She's pretty strong right there. Moving a bit sideways. Got some oblique strength. Okay, so now that we're inside, we've got to get back out again. And that's not going to be too easy. With a bunch of um, bandits going to be in, in here. Because if they're on the outside, they're definitely going to be on the inside. 
Just gonna search for some ammo as much as we can. I think we actually picked up some pistol bullets there. We picked up one bullet. So we're one bullet better than what we were. Just gotta make sure we don't um, get spotted for as long as we can now. Right, there's a door you can open there. You can also jump through the window. It's gonna be better jumping through the window. Because it's not gonna make any noise. Can we craft anything? We can craft a bomb. That's actually a good thing to craft because we can't make shifts and we can't upgrade melee weapons, so it's one of the better things to make with, with aim blades. It's the only thing you can make with blades. Now, I'm sure if you go through this way here, behind that wall, there's a guy looking through the window. That's what I remember on the PS3 version. And I think he was always there no matter what. Yep. So he's gonna spot he spots you no matter what there. You're forced to fight. So maybe if I creep around this corner, shoot the guy in the face. Oh, fucker. Yes, you fucker. You fucker face. So hopefully there's no one else looking for that window. That was a loud shot actually as well. So there's gonna be some other guys now looking for us. We could do it with finding a bottle really or a brick just to help us out. I got this Bottled it. Fuck. Fuck. Bite him. Kick him in the balls. Stab him in the face. Stab him in the balls again, even. Either way works. I was trying to throw a brick, I mean a bottle, but it wasn't equipped. I was just spamming R2 and just stood there like a fool. So we've got two rifle rounds now. I don't think there's more than two enemies left here. I got Fuck you. Oh my god, his head's gone. That was an amazing shot. <laughs> fucking hell, it took his head off. He went fucking, and then the next minute, he was off the planet Earth. Disconnected from the world. Disconnected from his brain. Alright, so that looked like they actually the last of the enemies. Pardon the pun. What's this? Some alcohol. Can we make a med pack? Nope, we need some more rags. We've got plenty of alcohol, but we need more rags to make a med pack. So we're gonna go through this door. <laughs> Shit, there's David. Can I do anything here? I'm pressing square. After all of that, you still get captured by David. Bitch. She just surrendered at the start. <sighs> so that's not an um, animal, is it? It's not deer. It's definitely human. How are you feeling? Super. Here. You should eat. I know you're hungry. You've been out for quite some time. What is it? Human? It's deer. No, it's not. Is some human helping on the side? No. No, I, I promise, it's just the deer meat. You're a fucking animal. It's awfully quick to judgment. Considering you and your friend killed how many men? They didn't give us a choice. And you think we have a choice, is that it? You kill to survive, and so do we. We have to take care of our own, by any means necessary. So now what? You gonna chop me up into tiny pieces? <laughs> I'd rather not. Please tell me your name. You're so full of shit. 
On the contrary. I've been, uh, been quite honest with you. Now I think it's your turn. It's the only way I'm going to be able to convince the others. Convince them of what? That you can come around. You have heart. You're loyal. And you're special. Oh. What am I supposed to tell the others now? Ellie. What? Tell them that... Ellie is the little girl that broke your fucking finger! <laughs> She's such a badass. I love her. How'd you put it? Hmm? Tiny pieces. See you in the morning, Ellie. Alright, so we're playing as Joel again now, seeing as Ellie is trapped in a cage. And um, we're going to actually start this section now on the next part. So, the whole mission here is for Joel to probably pretty much find out where Ellie is. Which is going to be a hard task because I've um, got no idea. Just got to face any bandits we can and probably interrogate them. So, I'll see you all the next part. Say bye, Joel. Bye bye.